Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm going to cut a few things open and afterward I'm going to discuss a little bit about the future of the channel, ideas, things of that nature. So let's get into it. Here's this little piece of red agate cut open. It was actually bigger but a lot of it broke off. But it looked really nice so... Oh good, it still looks really nice on the inside too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. There's this little colorless agate or chalcedony that was just sitting around um it has a little okay it has a little bit of agate banding in there interesting here's one of those i don't know what you want to call them it's a bunch of little geodes inside of matrix from dugway and there you go you see a bunch of little ones in there <laughs> interesting here's some more of the bertrandite now i did learn that the purple is mostly fluorite and that the bertrandite stuff is usually the more yellow color stuff and colorless well white stuff so the purple the fluoride is what makes it really pretty and that looks pretty nice here's another flat dugway geode cut open oh that's a nice one i like that one got some good banding going on in there nice there's another little teep teeny piece of the Bertrandite Tiffany stone stuff with purple fluorite. Not too bad. Here's some petrified wood. It broke up a little bit. But it looks nice on the inside. This is some more of that bog wood from Nevada. Cool. Here's some more Vernon Wonderstone. Alright, not too bad. It's okay. And for the final one today was this nice looking agate jasper from the Drum Mountains. And there we go. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That's a good looking piece. That's a good one to end on. And that's it. Not a whole lot of things that I cut. The main reason being, I'm actually running out of things that are small enough. Now there are some small things over there, but there are also some things that I, I don't know if I'll ever really cut. But a lot of the stuff I still want to cut is too big for that tiny little saw that I have. Cause it's, it's just a tile saw, just a little wet tile saw, seven inch. So I really want to get some bigger equipment, but the problem is, is right now I, I can't afford it. I can't afford to get anything that's expensive, especially if it's like rock hounding stuff. But I was thinking, I really, really want to improve this channel. Like I'm really enjoying this. I love going out rock hounding. I love sharing it with you guys. And I really want to improve. And some of those things include like, I'd like to be able to cut some of the bigger stuff I find and show you guys on the video rather than have to be like, okay, down the road sometime, I'm gonna cut it open and show it to you guys. So I really wanna get a better saw. I also would like to get a little bit better filming equipment. Now, this is a GoPro Hero 9, which is just fine. I mean, it does a good job, especially when you're outside and you wanna film like landscape or something like that. So when I'm showing the landscape or when I'm saying hello, welcome, stuff like that, it works great. But it really isn't ideal for showing close-ups. I've got this little, you know, macro lens that I attach to the camera whenever I want to try and film something close up. But honestly, it's not that great because I have to hold it within a certain distance or it's out of focus. And that's difficult to do, especially in the moment when you're excited, like if you found something. So what I'd like to do eventually is get another camera, one that's better designed for actually filming close-ups. In addition to that, whenever there's wind, the, the microphone on this GoPro is not good with wind. It's terrible with wind. I would like to get some noise reduction microphones and be able to film things better when I'm outside, especially the sound quality. I wish the sound quality would be better. So I wanna make some updates, upgrades to the channel, but I can't really do that alone. I, <laughs> I do not have the finances for that, just straight up. I was wondering if you guys could give me some of your input. I'd like to try and ask for your help and others about what we can do to improve this channel, to get the equipment I would like, to be able to cut things, to be able to film better and all that stuff. I've thought about Kickstarter, you know, I've never done anything on Kickstarter. I'm not really that familiar with it. I've never gone onto it to, you know, support somebody. So I'm completely new to that. 
but I have had people on the channel suggest in the past that if I wanted to kickstart something to get better equipment or things like that, that they would be willing to jump in and help. So I would like your help. What should I do? Should I try Kickstarter? Is there better options out there? And how's the best way to go around that? Would you guys be interested in that? Would you like to help support and help me purchase these things? I might be able to do things like, um, you know, if you support a certain amount, I can mail you some of the rocks I have or some, some crystals or whatever, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I'm very new to this. So I'd like to ask your advice. What should we do to try and improve this channel? To get better equipment for both filming and for you know cutting the rocks and doing things with them so yeah let me know your suggestions below in the comments and hopefully we can uh this summer improve this channel improve the quality and make things a lot better so that's what i had to talk about and until next time remember there is treasure everywhere